Okay, I'm going to be checking out Project Amalthea Battlegrounds for the next hour. This game ha is an online shooter. You have PvP, co-op, PvE play. It's a free-to-play game. You can pick it up on Steam. I'm going to have the uh, link to the game scrolling through chat throughout the stream. So if you want to pick the game up. Remember to get it through the, through the chat link or the name, Project Amalthea Battlegrounds. Another thing I'm doing is I'm starting up Extra Life. Donations for the kids. The local kids' hospitals help the kids out. Even $1 counts. Anyone that wants to be part of that, you can donate in my panels. And there will be uh, links to that in chat as well, as well as a command you can press. With that, we're about to get into the game I just created my character you create your character you select the ship and customize the colors that you want to use and you select your class as well once you do that you can log into the game So, select your ship. I chose that those colorings. There we go. You move around with the arrow keys. At least that's how I have it set up. You can fire with the mouse. <coughs> you can come over to these. En that's another player there. You see right there flying around me. It's an online game. They also say it's cross-platform. I'm not exactly sure which platforms it's on. Other than Steam. They say it's a cross-platform game. Come over here and get a quest. Random game queue. Let's gonna enter that. See what that's about. Registered for a battle arena for four players. I'm gonna go in there. Looks like defend your artifact and try to get enemies artifact. Bring it to your base. The game's played to three captures. You cannot place an enemy artifact if yours is already captured. Oh, I gotta see how this works. I'm not sure. I have not PvP'd at all. I'm new to the game. Oh, it goes. What do you have to do to start? Battle begins in zero seconds. There we go. Alright. There's green. Where the heck do we have to go to take their flag? Some stuff floating around. Oh, I heard something shooting here. I don't see anybody near something. What the heck happened here? The scoreboard popped up. <coughs> I don't know why the scoreboard popped up. destroyed not looking at my health in the upper left up here with a hole and all of that's listed so we gotta replace my ship there I go again zero to zero scores in the upper right <coughs> under the mini map the enemy that I was about to kill I got destroyed. If he has machine guns and I have. Oh, man, I got destroyed! That turret's nasty! A turret killed me literally three shots. I guess you gotta take those turrets out. If you wanna do anything. Alright, my third try. The controls are nice and easy. 
using WASD, you can use arrow keys etc as well. WASD right here. Keyboard and mouse controls. I stay back here. I, have I should have died, man. That's a real player behind me. This guy's a real player. That guy. I killed that player. That's a shield. And it picks stuff up to regenerate. That something that regenerated me that I picked up. Pick that thing up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Different abilities you can activate. I regenerated my health. I wanna see how to win the game though. <coughs> this guy came back to get me again. Combat's pretty good, pretty fun. I'm a noob, as you can see. But I did kill the one guy. I don't know if he's a noob as well. Nobody scored a point. There's five minutes left. So it's it's random, the type of gameplay. I, I took a quest over there at the quest giver NPC and it put me in an arena. But I guess it can also give you co-op or different types of gameplay. This is an arena battle. out of here. Four ability immobilizes you. Four immobilizes you. Should have killed that guy. I guess number four immobilizes you. I killed a bunch of them. actually beating these guys the only problem is I'm not scoring any points because Trying to get out of here, I stole the item. Come on! Almost 
there. I might score the first point. There's only two minutes left. This is my best chance. Yeah! I captured the flag! I got the only point for the whole match so far. Now I can heal. I was so low. So I learned how to score a point. Will that be enough to win? There's two minutes left. I made it to their base, destroyed their guys. That was awesome. I'm a headhunter class that supposedly gives me a little bit of boost to my torpedo damage. So now they're gonna come in to try to get the point from me. Oh, oh man, 20 seconds. I'll never get away. I'll never get back. Come on, drones, kill them. Don't let them kill the turrets. They have a minute to catch up. It's 1 0. Come on, put me back in there. our house. All we gotta do is defend for 45 seconds. He's trying to come here with his machine gunner. <clears throat> He's trying to come into the danger zone. These are real players. It's PvP combat. And Fardicus Maximus kills him. 19 seconds left. My first PvP match. Pretty fun. Gained some knowledge about how to battle in PvP. I think I'm gonna win my match. Five seconds. Three, two, one. I should have won. One to zero, I think. Yeah, we win. One zero. I had seven kills, seven, four deaths. <clears throat> I got the only flag, so we win. That was nice. They can do whatever they want now, the match ended. So that was cool. So you can complete quests or take new ones in the bar. Where the heck is the bar? Infobot information, Cobalt Asteroid. There's a guard, a missile turret, Titanium Asteroid. Whoa, I didn't want to do that. Ice Asteroid, Quest Giver's Lair, Guard. Where the heck is the bar? California Hotel, Mission Center. Got that to heal up, clone. Cobalt Asteroid. Mission Center, Mission Center. Where the, look, that's the guy that I played against. This guy right here. Shoot it. But I'm not sure where the bar is. I feel there's a bar. Quest Giver, Guard, Laser. Station closed for quarantine. Get it? Where the heck they say in the middle of the bar? Personal cabin. Enlist to battle. Let's go over all these things. Not to miss anything. Here, bar. Quest giver is near bar. Quest complete. It says here. Close for quarantine. Da -da -da. Found the station attendant at the bar among with the rest of non-essential personnel ignoring the stay-at-home order during the lockdown. He's a little tipsy and occasionally wipes his mouth with his mask. Don't forget to visit me in office after the lockdown to get form 752A in your license if you still need it, of course. Complete basic flight training and get to the station. But I did that already. So I got some credits. 
Now it says, first of all, you decided to find out what bets will be on such a gallant guy like you. You're not just a beginner this hour, but meets. It turns out that you can only be a flying target for him in Spain. Throw yourself and then bother at the race. Cause a thousand damage. Hey man, I should have, I needed that quest, so I took a quest from this guy. Of the damage people. Okay, so if you go over here, it says personal cabin. I'm level two, far to this Nautilus. Original class fighter, history, headhunter, 55 credits, two dollars, or whatever this type of currency is. Ship type fighter, specialization torpedoes, reset talents. I don't think I have any talents or anything. So it's quest giver, trade center. Okay, you get trade all kinds of stuff, things you pick up. Buy and sell computer boards. What do I do there? Do I sell it? Where's the store? What do I do? Sell 58 credits and $2. Drone claws. I'm not gonna sell anything else because I don't know what I did there. Let's see all your ship parts. Okay. Let's get out of there for now. The mission center here is right listed to battle this takes you to like a random game type i'm gonna click that again and see what it gives me random game queue seems like i'm the only one in here i have to wait for them to join me game with a random set of opponents and teams or can i just go out into the world and do some damage to people Quest said do a thousand damage and get three kills, I think. Oh. Read the game. Oh. How long do I wait here? Random game. Last time it just began. Now we're going to the arena. Let's do the arena again. The arena was fun. Begins in 20 seconds. Now I have a little idea what you do. You go to their side, steal their flag, and bring it back to our side. Eight seconds till we begin. All right goes 10 minutes Let's see which team wins this time or one last time on my own there's that guy like the guy I played against last time turrets I didn't realize that that other one was a turret too so I think it's just me against this guy unless people join one on one to do is destroy their turrets to admit a witness.
intensity, but it's... Gotta destroy all these turrets. Out the outside defense. So you gotta like whittle it down as much as you can, little by little, in these 10 minutes, and steal the item, the flag, and bring it back. Then I go again. Problem is, when you die, the time gets longer and longer each death. My turrets are still here, he hasn't eliminated them. I don't know if this gives me bonus shield. I think it gives me bonus shield. Take this guy again. Six minutes left, I stole the item. Man, I gotta get back to my base. Might have a point here. I get back in my base. Where is this item? Like another shield or boost or something. Take it. This should be a score. Did I not get it? What happened? Did they have our artifact? Oh, I got it. There we go. One point for us. They scored one point. I'm gonna get my health up. Find more health. I guess that number five ability of mine is a heal. Because it healed me up when I when I used it. Yeah, it looks like he's weak over here. There he is. Killed him again. These NPC guys are sitting there. So that guy. This number five here should heal me. See you later. So I stored his thing again. I'm taking it back with me. <coughs> He's firing. He's trying to follow me or something. Killed it. I don't know why he can't take my turrets down. Maybe his ship with the machine gun isn't that powerful. I'm not sure. But he hasn't been able to penetrate my defense. And I should score here. 
That's, that's it. I scored twice, we win. So my team wins. I had 12 kills, it looks like. Two deaths. I did the most damage. Repaired myself the most. Got the most experience. Got the most plus. I did good overall is what that means. Pretty sure this guy's a real player like me. He has a name and I seen him in the lobby. This gives you the rules again. We have 10 minutes. Capture the flag. I de defeated him already. We lose the battle. Will that count for the quest giver guy? It says quest in progress. Deal damage. Kill opponent 0 out of 3. But I killed that guy a lot. Maybe it doesn't count because it's the arena. Alright. So then. Can I go out and just find people to kill out here? This travel gate is closed for quarantine. Let's go this way. Explore a little bit. Some kind of asteroid. I destroyed it. But if you destroy the asteroid, you get to pick up the debris. Whoa, it's a trap. That hurt my guy. around just destroying stuff mining pretty much that's in the city over there so let's go out this way I did those mines go around them run into the wall a little bit sure if you could go out in the open or anything. The travel game says close for quarantine. I don't know if you can actually go out or where I'm supposed to get those kills from. Now this leads me back. Into the town I was in. Dead end here. Guess I gotta go back to the mission center. Uh, I thought I could get in there for some reason. I couldn't see it. it fades away when you turn. I found this game on Indie Boost. I'm streaming it right now as part of a promotion, so thanks to Indie Boost for providing me with the chance to stream it and to the developers of the game for providing me with the key to do the stream. It says Mission Center. I think that's where I battled those people. But before I go back in there... Oh, you're in here, you can't do it. There's the other mission center here. I think it's the same thing. I don't know. There's no players in this one. So let's see. I want to see in the other one if it's the same thing. Okay, it's the same. So there's zero, zero. That's the quest giver. The hotel's your room. What is this over here? Clone bats. Information center. Quarantine has been declared. You're in a quarantine in this game. Pretty much like the pandemic we're going through in real life. But this is supposed to be 2106. No ships allowed to explore the Jupiter orbit except for the pilot training battlegrounds. Until a normal life resumes, you can enlist to one of the training battles available at competition's office. What the heck is that? Competition's office. It says these stations are closed for quarantine. All I can see is this here, mission center, and quest giver there. 
<clears throat> so I guess I'm just going. So at least they're not bad on here. And wait for some people to join. Oh, in a minute. I don't think you can put in like select. It says random game. Let's see what happens. In. We'll type in chat see if anyone replies or jumps in the game and this game's pretty cool it's pretty interesting if you enjoy space combat games online then this is a game for you to check out it's free it has all the graphical settings like normal you're getting good at FPS See, I'm in 1440p resolution. Game, the game covers my whole screen. I have a 21.9 ultra wide monitor, so that's nice for a little indie game to have that built in. is always great. You can see your quests up here, the world map, your reputations. that's my sh my repair skill right here so I was wondering what all my moves do you can see them right right here the torpedo torpedo does critical damage attach emergency beacon to the target ship rendering it more visible preventing camouflage and peak its vulnerability this is the one where I don't move Think. I think that's one where I don't move. That repairs your armor. That's all the moves I have. This is your mail. Your talents. I have no points to put in there, but when you level up, I guess you can put your talent points in. Character, Spartacus Maximus. So no one joined me in this yet. Leave here. I want to see. Format, players, private battles, registered, locked. So this shows all battles that are in. You can put new. What happens if you just click this? Oh, it just puts in there. But let's say no one comes in. What? How can I go explore on my own? Is what I'm trying to find out. There has to be a way. I don't know what this is. It's evil. This is the bar again. It says bar quest in progress. But what is this? No, I have this one to do. I killed three guys, but I, I guess it didn't count in that mode I was in. So, I have to find a way to kill people. But I don't see a way where you can go out like, into the open more, can you? Can you go this way? I don't think so. Locked up. This is the info. What is this? Competitions office. I don't know what the heck that is. It's pretty cool how they've come up with the a little world here but I need to know how to go out and show some red arrows out there what the heck is that so I need to go to mission center back there but nobody's doing anything here I saw some big red arrow out here where'd it go
There's a big red arrow. Is that just a block in here? Oh, it's that minefield. I don't know why that forms. It puts that there. Just respawns. Hit me. I can just go back to collecting asteroids, but I want to go out and kill players. Can't really do anything to him. Wonder if I can. How the heck am I gonna kill the three players? That's what I wanna know. They should have a way here to fight. And I thought I read there was a way to do like PVE battles. This is gate is closed for quarantine, so you can't do anything with that. health where'd that guy go that I beat in PvP I need you to play another game is this the information the hotel I maybe trade something while I'm waiting requires 10 points in laser so all these things require you to level up I have 108 credits now that I won. So it improves armor, fuel tanks, shield module, shield generator, armor, basic defense module. I don't know what's an upgrade. Slightly improves armor property. Weapon torpedo. Damage 5 to 15. But what do I have on now? I have 100 credits. There's a ton of stuff in here, but. If you click that, it's weapons. I guess the ones that are lit up are ones you can afford. 4 to 13, 12 to 20. Retribution energy weapon. It's like the strongest thing you could get. Torpedoes 5 to 15. 4 to 13. 12 to 20. Let's say I buy it. Call from 
trying to figure out. Let's see here. How do I open up the stuff I bought? Map, character, talents. What do I do? Use unequip. Actions. Here's your character. I wish I could move it instead of being all the way to the left, but I clicked unequip. Didn't do anything. Uh, so I have three of these guns, but I wanted to see if I could change the other one out. Use unequip. Doesn't any equip it. But so I'm not sure how you can equip anything. It's not really intuitive on how you do that. Your actions, your talents. I mean, it should be simple. Like drop. Like it looks like you drop it. But where is the stuff I bought? Down here. Your hold. There we go. I thought I bought one that said 18 hull points, but I only got 15. 15 shield points. I already have that. Energy cell, standard battery. I thought I had bought some kind of like navigation unit. Dangerous unit to drone fly. Corvette, basic combat module, hamster, soulbound, additional container built into the ship to increase volume of cargo. So I put that in there at 12 to 20. I don't know if it will shoot better or what, but I'll move it to the middle. I thought I had bought one of these with 18. I already have 15. wasn't that hard to put this on and after all you just have to open your hold down here and drag and drop it's pretty easy now I gotta see if I can find players to fight to change my weapon now I need to battle somebody though the difference between doing new games here we go there we go there we go that's what i need create a single player game begin there we go so if there's nobody online at the moment in your server which it looks like the case right here you can go do some pve i knew that there had to be a way so i figured that out easy money for a rookie collect parts from old drones some of the drones ended up in a junkyard by mistake and might may fight back. Okay, so we're going through a junkyard. I guess all the junk is this way. There we go. You can go on PVE exploration missions. I guess my goal is to. little packs. Hey, there's one that fights back. Imagine someone would fight back. More than one fighting back. Huh? Destroyed them. Destroy that one. Looks like it's pointing more drones out here. Okay. I think that's it. I gained 150 experience. <coughs> they call this a dungeon. I've completed.
completed that. So I guess you can just farm that and get your XP up and level up and stuff. So that's cool. Now we're cooking. Only problem is I need to kill opponents. Uh, <coughs> I canceled my quest by mistake. So I lost the damage I had done. Looks like it's not too hard to do that anyway. So let's go back here. New game. I can pick co op, but I don't see anyone that's going to join me. I'm going to go in here and start. See if it gives me the same exact one. One man dungeon. Does. I think it's the same thing, the junkyard. <coughs> yep. Might be the only one they have set up. Oh, I'm not totally sure. Okay, you gotta kill three drones. Some fight back, some don't. pretty easily and there was one big one that was a little harder Get this one out of there takes two good shots Gotta find the forgotten drone. So can we get this? There's another old drone. It's not the one. We'll pick it up anyway. All those different things I'm picking up, I guess, are different things. I see computer boards, manipulators, energy. So this is cool. You get random loot. Looks like. Let's see what I got here. Energy cell. Drone dunk jump. Is the guy over this way? Showing an arrow this way and one over there. There it is, the forgotten drone. and manipulators and it looks like that's it you want to leave yes got some more XP a little bit of experience I have 115 credits I thought I had picked up this one that was better armor 18. I guess it was too expensive. Yeah, I guess I clicked that one instead of this one. Alright. And then you can sell stuff. You collect, I guess, like this. Maybe I shouldn't have sold that. But I sold it anyway. This is pretty cool. You can just farm, get stronger, wait for more players to get in, and be ready to defeat them. Like an MMO style thing. It's an online space battler MMO type game. So I made a new game. So if I put to battle, there's nobody, right? I'm just going to leave it there a minute. Let's see if someone joins. I don't see anyone flying around here, but I'm not sure if there's other ways that they could join. If not, we'll farm another round of the junkyard.
anyone stops by watching the stream, you can pick this game up in Steam for free. Download the game and play, no cost. Another thing I have going on in my panels is the Extra Life 2020 to help kids out, help sick kids. You can donate to local hospitals. I'm collecting money for my local hospital. You can donate by clicking my panel. Even a dollar counts. Any little thing that you can put in there goes directly to charity. I'm also going to start up a giveaway tomorrow. I have a cool game to give out, so make sure to follow me. I'll be posting it on Twitter. My Twitter is in my panels as well. You can follow me on Twitter. Follow me here on Twitch. Be part of my giveaways. Win some cool games. Right, looks like nobody's joined. I gave him a couple minutes. So, I'm going to have to start a new game. Single. I don't think you could. Two players, all players in one team. If I do this, what will happen? I think they have to be in this server. And I don't see anybody in here right now. To join you. I don't think I'm gonna sit around. I'm gonna try to go back in the single player button. I mean, single player mode. Wait a minute, what was that? That's my game there. Oh, I'm not going to my single player one. It says drone single player. Team one, player one. AI bots. Gonna go back in here and farm the dungeon. See what I can pick up, some items. I learned the basics of the game, which is cool. My first day trying it out. And it's a decent looking game. Has some interesting things to it. That it's free, anybody can check it out. If there were more players, it'd be a lot, uh, even a lot more fun because they have all the basic stuff. When I was battling those guys in the arena, that was pretty awesome. Only problem is, I beat them and it was like I scared them off. They may be new players like me. me one against two and I was able to defeat him the first time. That was my first time in there. So if you're new to the game, looks like you can have some good success right away. Yeah, I did that dungeon 150 experience. You need 6,000 experience it says in the upper left to level up. So you'd have to do the dungeon a lot. You'd have to do it like 50 times or something. 10 times would be 1,500, 20 times would be 3,000, so 40 times and you'll level up to do that, this little thing here, so you really have to farm it a lot. And I don't see another way to do it. <clears throat> the other thing you can do is go out here, destroy asteroids and stuff and get money. 
from whatever you pick up. I'm not sure how often they respawn. But what I'm going to have to do for next time is check out the forums in the game on Steam. <clears throat> this is an indie game, so most likely at the beginning, like a lot of these smaller games, to get uh, PvE and co-op going, you have to schedule game play time, find out when the most players are online, and log in during that time. You can have the most success to set up the um, online multiplayer mode. But online the whole time, but I mean the multiplayer. I want to hit this. Neodymium ore. Neodymium ore. So you can pick up those ores and sell them. Or craft something out of them. I'm gonna look one more time around. This is just my first look at the game. One hour planned stream. So far I had fun. I checked out a couple PvP arena matches. I did I figured out how to do the PvE one player mode little dungeons and also visited the trading quarters over here pick up missions down here that's what I was doing where you get the dungeons we have the trade center I have 183 credits now I can sell the stuff that I'm picking up that, right? Titanium, it doesn't really give me much. I can't sell it. This energy cell, standard atomic battery. Not sure what, all, what else that does. The capacity, we have all this stuff in here. Alright. to see like what the batteries did you have your fuel tank the shield defense module combat module what is this what does this energy cell do throw away item oh standard atomic i don't know what this battery does man. all right so the battery is not for that it's for something else that's hard to make sure Looks, you can collect. Oh, yeah, you can collect. Hey, I didn't know you could collect all these here. I thought you weren't allowed to kill them. So destroy the asteroids that are within this little town city zone. So I can never destroy those. Then you can collect the ores in here too. That one I saw there a while. Ice. you a little bit more money you could probably craft or do something better with it that looks like that's it that's gonna be my first hour into the game I did the basics created my character my ship paint my ship did a little tutorial to learn the controls, which are really simple. You can pick up the controls in two minutes of playing. Very basic, easy controls. They're nice and responsive. Then you have a little bit of PvE you can do, little dungeons to collect your experience and some credits. You have the PvP mode you can queue up for. So let me do two of the arenas. So once again, thanks to Indie Boost. For letting me check the game out providing the key and thanks to the cool developers check their game out on steam amalthea project amalthea battlegrounds is the name of the game 
I'm going to put a link to it also in the VOD for this. And I'll probably post it on YouTube so people can check it out. Thanks for stopping by. See you all next time. Enjoy your gaming this weekend.